Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam, this is my co-host Phil. Hey guys, what's up? And we are Bars and Barbells, and today we have a very special request from one of our loyal subscribers, Mark. Thank you, Mark. And we are doing Steppenwolf Born to be Wild. Yeah, and Mark's been supporting the channel a whole yes. lot. Thank yes. you so much, Mark. Really, yeah, we've done a lot of fun requests from him so far. Yeah, yeah, I really do appreciate the support and yes. the great requests. And uh, so Steppenwolf Born to be Wild is a song I think we're going to know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I feel like I know that catchphrase, like, born to be wild. But I don't know if that, like, comes from this or what. So I'm pretty sure this, like, the born to be wild, if it's what I'm thinking of, has been used in movies to kind of construe, construe the idea of being a badass. Okay. And so uh, Mark was saying as well, and we see it on the screen here, that it's been featured in the film Easy Rider. Okay. Which was from 1969. I think it included Jack Nicholson. Uh, some other actors as well. Yeah, I think like Jane Fonda. Yeah, so um, it, I think it's been featured in movies, and I I believe we're gonna recognize this okay. main hook, main riff kind of aspect. Okay. But other than that, I not don't like the think the song in its entirety. Yeah, we're yeah. not gonna recognize if there's a solo or something in there. Cool. But it's cool that we're doing Steppenwolf as well because Steppenwolf has been mentioned a few times in those comments, and they were saying that we got you guys were saying we got to get into some Steppenwolf at some point. Yeah. Um, they have a few hits, but I think this is their biggest one. But ironically, like I look at the name Steppenwolf and it makes me think of DC Comics. Yeah, like the, superhero villain stuff. Yeah, because he's a villain in DC Comics, yeah. right? So um, I think he was in, yeah, he was in the last Justice League movie. So anyways, when I see that name, I'm like, what are you guys talking about Steppenwolf for? It's like, <laughs> why are we going to do yeah. Steppenwolf on the channel? Anyways, um, clearly it's a band um, from, like I said, 1960s, early 70s, I think they were really popular. So enough with the chit chat, though. You ready to get into it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's roll. So do you recognize this? I just recognize that one line, like that "Born to Be Wild" the title. Yeah, yeah, "Born to Be Wild." Yeah, yeah. But the so rest that's of what the I was... song, I don't think I've ever heard. Okay, so that's what I was thinking of when I saw the song title "Born to Be Wild." Mm -hmm. I was like, "Okay, that's 
it's got to be that. Yeah, yeah. If it's being requested, super popular song, it's got to be that one. Like I said, I feel like I've recognized it from movies. This mm-hmm. wasn't something I was listening to on my own or anything. Yeah, no, no. I would say definitely from like a TV show or a movie, like some form of like pop culture. Yeah. And I think that it's been featured, we said, in Easy Rider, but I'm 100% sure that it's been featured in other movies many yeah, times. Probably. Like, I have this visual. I don't know if it was used in it or not, but I feel like it would have been fitting for, like, the Terminator movie when he, <laughs> like, walks in somewhere. And it's like, you know, that kind of kind of corny, kind of cheesy, but same time humorous and gets to the yeah, point ideas like, in Terminator. The badass has arrived. Arnold Schwarzenegger tends to do, yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyways, it's a, the, the song is great, though. Like, just beyond that Born to be Wild portion, it really does have a lot of, you know, great assets to the song. And the guitar works very cool. I like the transitions, how we get into the chorus. Some of the lyrics are pretty cool, too. The vocal yeah. is great. But you don't think about that when you just hear in a little, you know, sliver. Yeah, like somewhere. a tiny little snippet. Yeah, I think it's so much fun. Like, it's just like an upbeat, like, yeah. you know, makes you like, like, it's like a not a feel good and like a happy vibe, but like a feel good, like upbeat Up. kind of like I'm a badass kind of vibe. Like, Increase like your it. energy. Vibe. Yeah, yeah. I like it. And, um, like you said, I could totally see how it would be used for movies like that. And this video is just like making me want to go get on a motorcycle. <laughs> like when I was a teenager, all I wanted was my motorcycle license. And my parents were like, absolutely not. Yeah. Well, I guess that's kind of the theme of it, right? Born to be wild, easy rider, like yeah. easy rider. I don't know what the movie Biker. is about, but yeah, that bike yeah. answer. That's a whole theme of this video. Yeah. Also like, I feel like this really captures what America represented for a really long time. You've got the American helmet here. You got the American bike, you know, just the theme of the song in general, I feel like has some talking points related to America as well. Yeah, Just out on the road, free living, loving your life on your bike. Kind of of like an all American theme song, you know? And, uh, also they made mention, this is from 1969 and they made mention of heavy metal in there, right? I'm not sure if they're making making reference to heavy metal in terms of the bikes. Mm. Or because we just made mention of the bike theme, <laughs> yeah, or the musical aspect. But I, I feel like heavy metal wasn't around in 1969 because I think we discussed that Black Sabbath was kind of like one of those innovators that was moving in that direction, mm-hmm. and I think that came after this. Yeah. So. I don't know. That's interesting because maybe they were innovative and they didn't even realize it because yeah. it does have a heavier sound. Like a heavier riff and stuff. Yeah. It almost reminds me a little bit of ACDC. Yeah. You know, the vocal, their sound. I think, is a little bit different, but yeah, I feel like the, the guitar work and stuff. Yeah. The sound that they're giving off yeah. from this like heavy-ish, heavy riffs, heavier riffs in a rocky way is kind of this blend of heavy metal and rock mm-hmm. in that light. Yeah, but sure. So, so anyways, um, very, very cool song, though. I mean, yeah, I'm it, loving it. Yeah. It's a great Good way job, to get Mark. your... Get your day started, right? I rewind it a little bit. See my new uh, get up and get ready for the day song. And you were saying, sorry, I, I was just so engaged in my thoughts. You were saying that you wanted to get a motorcycle at some point. When I was a teenager, like all a teenager, I wanted. Like how old? Like 17, 18, 19. Okay. Like I had my driver's license, obviously. And then all I wanted was to get my motorcycle license and have a motorcycle. And mom was not having it. Definitely not. At that point, I actually rode dirt bikes a little bit with my dad and my brother. I didn't get into that for too long, but that's kind of also what stemmed it a little I bit. I never knew that about you. Seriously? That you rode, rode, rode dirt bikes. You didn't know that. No, you never told me that. Wild, yeah. And then once I crashed one into a hay bale by accident. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me so much. <laughs> it was my first time riding one. <laughs>
everything's just so vibrant you know the bass is vibrant the guitar work so vibrant you know they just use the drums in the right way to keep up the energy but i feel like everything else is kind of leading it so mm -hmm. and then his voice is great he has a really really great vocal mm -hmm. i don't know, yeah, I know I who the it. lead singer was but yeah no it sounded so good i feel like it all just came together so well and i feel like the video is so good for the song too yeah it's pretty simple though right yeah you know it's nothing overly complex of a video but it does literally like, just ride in their bike out on the open road that's it, fits it, it. fooling around it fits yeah. the song really well looking right? for adventure <laughs> yeah and it makes me want to go and do that like that looks so beautiful i know i think that's one of the things we've underappreciated about canada is this you know great scenery that is there that yeah. you know i haven't ex even experienced to the fullest yet and mm -hmm. um you know, just growing up there was something like, yeah, yeah, like whatever, you know, it's yeah, of course it's beautiful. Yeah. Like everybody else says that. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, it's a bunch of trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that looks so beautiful to me. Yeah, right. Being able to just go for a nice drive, but obviously on your bike, it'd probably be even more so. Yeah. We, I've never um, ridden a motorcycle like that before. So. Yeah, no, I think it'd be so fun. And you get all the hair, your wind in your hair. Well, I did notice that. Like, this guy's hair was not moving one bit. I don't know how he was pulling that off, but... Also, I was like, he's not even wearing a helmet. It's a little bit risky. <laughs> this is 1970, Sam. Fair. A little fair. risky. That's fair. Living on the edge. <laughs> Clearly, Sam is a risk taker. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed our reaction to Steppenwolf, Born to be Wild. It was great. Thank you for that suggestion, Mark. Yes. Thank you for the support. Everybody, not just Mark. We do appreciate that for Mark. But all you guys as well with the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. We wouldn't be where we are with this channel where it is right now. So uh, thank you so much, every single one of you. Yes. We are grateful for you all. And uh, we hope that you continue on this journey with us. If this is your first time on the channel, you can hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the post notification bell as well. YouTube has been a little bit funny recently and not allowing everybody to see posts. So make sure you turn that on so you don't miss anything. Okay, guys? Yeah. Other than that, that's us from us today. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.